Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is Genesis chapter 22, verse 5. Let's say it together. And Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship, and we will come back to you. The backstory on this verse is that Isaac was a promised precious son to an elderly Abraham and his wife Sarah. And they loved him, and they cherished him, and just before this verse, God had instructed Abraham that he was going to offer this promised, special, precious son as a human sacrifice on Mount Moriah. Abraham spent that night, I presume, wrestling spiritually, emotionally, mentally with God, coming to the place of submission through all the stages of grief I would have to imagine. But here we are the next morning, and Abraham tells his servants, you stay here, we're going to go worship. The lad and I will go yonder and worship. And what is the form of worship that Abraham envisions here when he tells his servants to wait? The lad and I are going to go up here, and the Lord is going to take everything from me, and I'm going to let him. This is worship. One of the first messages I ever gave at Calvary Chapel Murfreesboro related to my personal journey in submission. As a formal, willful sinner who refused to submit, this story of Abraham putting everything on the altar was a pivotal transformational understanding of what God calls us to do. Because I tell you this, it's easy to die for the Lord Many people do it in many different reasons, but it's not so easy to live for the Lord, to give up what you have here and now, your pleasures, your comforts, your joys, your love, your family. Jesus intimated this when he said, who are my mothers and my brothers? These, these disciples, these are my family. He also said, whoever is not willing to leave his mother and his father is not worthy to follow me. Does this mean that God hates families, that he hates children? By no means. What it means is, you will never find the satisfaction and the peace and the joy that you desire in this life if you're clinging to this life instead of God. The act of worship described here in these verses is an act of worship so powerful, so terrifying, so intimate. It demands a whole person sacrifice. Not, and I'm not talking about Isaac here, because if you want to know the rest of the story, God never intended Isaac to die. He stays Abraham's hand at the last minute and says, now I know that you trust me. And the book of Hebrews tells us it was credited to Abraham for righteousness, for believing in God. No, the human sacrifice that occurs in the pages here is Abraham's own life. He's the one on the altar that night and the next day. As he trudges up Mount Moriah, with his beautiful son, committed to following the Lord no matter what it costs. He has given up his self, and only there can true worship and true freedom be found. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in you is true freedom. In you is true strength. In you is the perfect example of true sacrifice. Abraham didn't know Jesus but he prophesied him by this act and by this obedience. Lord God, you have everything planned. May we trust you when you ask us to unclench our hand from what it holds so tightly. May we trust you that you know what's best for us when you take things from us, just as we trust you when you give things to us. Lord, you cause it to rain on the just and the unjust alike. You spread mercy and joy, triumph and tragedy in a way that we do not understand. But your ways are not our ways. May we humble ourselves before your almighty face, shaking in terror at who you are and what you can do, and shaking with love and joy that we are yours and chosen. May we be prepared in the month to come to understand what it truly means to give up our wants and even our needs, because our life is yours. May we dedicate this next period of time in your study, unselfishly, without checking the clock, 
without wondering what we're going to have for lunch. But may we dedicate at least this much to you, O Lord, and then everything else. In your name, Jesus, we pray. God bless everyone. See you next time.